Good morning, guys. Hey, uh, Outdoor Expenditure here. Uh, just want to kind of uh, do another um, update. Um, today in Southern California is the first day um, that it's rained in 171 days. So definitely excited for the rain. It's a little bit gloomy outside, but I did want to try to um, get, get some stuff done. Um, and as recent, we've had a lot of fires in the area. Blue Ridge Fire uh, on Chino Hills area. Um, we had another fire over at Santiago. So the air quality hasn't been that great. Um, so the rains definitely are welcome. They're uh, kind of washing everything clean. There's been a lot of ash um, in, in our area on the cars all over the home. Um, so the rain's gonna kind of help clean things, make things new. It's also the first uh, snow of Big Bear. So I've been excited. I want to try to get out to Big Bear. Been talking about the to the to, been talking to the guys about trying to um, head up there at one point because we do want to um, we want to do some snow camping. Um, we got a few things we want to test out, and uh, it's getting to about seventy. Was about seventy degrees in the day. Now it's about fifty dropping down to the 20s and teens. So it's exciting. Um, it's it's a new uh, uh, camp season ahead of us, right? Uh, we're moving to the desert and the mountain uh, winter camping. But speaking of air quality, I've got a new mod and it is a pre-cleaner for my snorkel. Now there's a lot of pre-cleaners out there. There's the, um, I call them the bowl style. It looks like a, it looks like a bowl and it's clear. And uh, it has these angled fins that spin the air coming in to the intake. And basically the concept is to throw the dirt against the sides of the bowl and the bowl collects the dirt so it doesn't enter down your your, your snorkel into your intake. Um, so there's a lot of versions out there. They range in price uh, between $38, $40 up to about 70 or 80, uh, depending on the style that you get. Um, but I've always wanted one um, to replace the, the standard. I've got a uh, ARB style um, um, knockoff, basically, a snorkel um, that I purchased uh, quite a few years ago. Um, and I've always wanted to upgrade the ram head because on a recent trip, we went out to Toronto Pinnacles um, and took the back way, which was extremely dusty trail. Um, and uh, it, you know, it, even though we tried to space ourselves apart, you know, the dust was coming right in. I knew my snorkel was taking it in, but I do have a K&N filter, right? So thinking that that would be enough. Now, K&Ns are great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but when they're particularly clean from what I've read, um, I'm hearing sometimes that dirt does get passed until you kind of pre-season that filter. When it starts building up a little bit more um, particulates and dust, it filters better. It becomes more efficient. Um, but when I was working on the truck, I just put in a, a second battery. Um, I, well, I've had a second battery for long. Let me take that back. But I was replacing the battery. I had a deep cycle, a uh, die hard. I replaced it with an Odyssey. I'll do another video about that. Um, the reason why I bring up the second battery to install it is I have to remove the factory air box just to give me a little bit more real estate to get the battery in and out. Um, and then in doing so, um, if you're a Forerunner, I think Tacomas are the same, and obviously an FJ, I've got an FJ Cruiser, um, you know that on the top half after the filter media, uh, the factory includes, a, it's almost like a, a mesh, almost looks like a pre-filter. Um, it's not fine, um, but there are fibers. I'll roll in some videos showing what that looks like. Uh, there was a, a significant amount of dust um, right in that filter that comes after um, the K&N filter. So it got me a little bit concerned. I'm glad that 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 part of the intake box caught uh, the dust, but I, I, I didn't make, it didn't sit well with me knowing that some of it's probably getting past that and into the engine. So I was, um, it, it sent me on a hunt to look for a, a good pre-cleaner, um, which I'm going to show you in a second. I haven't installed the product yet, but I kind of wanted to talk about the product, show you what it looks like, show you what the concept and design of the, of the item is, and then uh, we'll head outside um, as long as it stops raining, and then uh, we'll get it installed, show you what that process looks like. It's pretty straightforward. All right, guys, here it is. This is uh, branded the Cyclone, um, and here's kind of the model number. Now, I mentioned earlier, being the USA, by the way, um, I mentioned earlier that I do have an ARB clone style um, uh, snorkel, 
and the intake measures three and a half inches. So when you go on the website to order this, um, which is snorkelupgrade.com. Again, the website snorkelupgrade.com. I don't know if they're an exclusive distributor uh, for this particular model of um, pre-cleaner. Um, uh, and just as a, as a preface, uh, they did not sponsor me on this product. I purchased this product um, with my own hard-earned cash. Um, so this is uh, kind of an unbiased review. Um, honestly, it looks like a really build, good build quality. But anyway, going back to it, um, um, I, I didn't realize this is the actual company, I guess, that produces uh, this and uh, and Snorkel Upgrade uh, apparently is the distributor, um, but it is made in the USA. Now, um, there are other copies um, that look very similar to this type of pre-cleaner, um, but this one, this one does does have a unique feature that i didn't see in others now if here i'll go to flip it around um it does come with obviously the bracket it comes with a rubber adapter and this is where you need to specify what size of um intake or you have again mine is a three and a half inch um because i believe they i think the body is a almost a standard size correct me if you guys know um, if I'm giving the wrong information, just kind of leave the comments down below. Um, but it does come with this adapter that adapts that three and a half inch, uh, inlet, um, for the body. So, um, anyway, going back to it, many, um, pre-cleaners have, if, and it's hard to tell, I'll try to get in there. You can see how there are fins, um, that are angled, um, very much like a propeller. And that's to get that, uh, intake air pulled in and create a cyclone effect, uh, which helps to remove debris from the air. Additionally, what's what, what I like about this particular brand, it also has a little impeller and you can see that there and I'll see if I could try to, so you can see how it spins. So you've got these fins creating a vortex and then as it goes in, this little impeller also spins, further reducing the amount of particulates in the air before it actually goes into your snorkel and up towards your engine. So I thought that was unique, um, and, and and I'm excited to give it a try. Um, I've read good reviews about it. It seems like it's pretty effective in getting the air clean um, and hoping that we do do a lot of um, desert trails, hoping that this will help keep the filter um, cleaner for a lot um, longer period of time without um, without uh, gumming up the KNN. So um, I'm hopeful that this design will work. Now, one other thing, what happens to the dirt? Like I said, in other um, pre-cleaner styles, um, you see the bowl, you see the dust and dirt that's being collected. What this does is actually spins that dirt along the walls and it's supposed to eject it out of this slit right here in the housing, right? So any water that's sucked in, any dirt that's sucked in, is um, it's designed to eject it again out of the slit so that you never really have to take this off and clean the internals. Um, I guess it's what they would consider a self-cleaning design. So um, we'll know if it works because if we're riding down the trail and we get a trail of dust, um, it should eject it all out, out towards this direction. So anyway, we'll run some video. I'm going to show you how I installed it, where I found the dust in the intake, and then uh, we'll show you how we get this on and the final product, what it looks like on the truck. All right, guys, I went and took out the air box. So you knew what I was talking about. Here's the K&N filter. Um, as you can see, it's not too dirty. Um, a little bit dirty down there, but definitely not time for servicing yet. I just did it... Um, you know a few thousand miles ago so definitely not time um but what i'm talking about is this part of the air box the, the the top portion right where the uh the the map sensor is and this is the um i don't know if you'd call it a filter um but it is permanent it is part of the top part um of the intake and it comes after the filter this is the part I was talking about that had a lot of uh, fine dust. And my concern was that it was getting inside the intake and getting sucked into the engine. So um, this is the reason why I went to look for this pre-cleaner. I wanted to get the air as clean as possible before it made it to the filter.
right here it is guys uh just put it on cinched up the uh the um the band around the bottom and uh, there it is again i'm hoping to get a lot of years out of use uh lot of years of use out of it um and i hope that it helps me uh increase my service intervals for my uh canon filter and keeps that area clean but um i'll have to do a long-term review uh maybe about a year from now uh see what the filter looks like um but that's pretty much it uh finished install some people like it you know i used to not like the style but it's kind of grown on me over time um but like i said hopefully it uh gives me a lot of years of use and uh keeps my filter clean anyway guys um if you have any comments questions uh make sure to leave it down in the bottom thanks guys